Why are people dealing with allergies already? Allergy season starting early this year and hitting hard. Mm. So, so we have board certified allergist and immunologist, Dr. Mano Segal from Chestnut Allergy and Asthma Associates. And the question is, sometimes I wonder, is this just in my head or are we really experiencing these things earlier than usual? We're experiencing these things earlier than usual. And today, this isn't the first year we're noticing this pattern year over year. Okay. Why? Is it, it's the weather? It's the weather. We're seeing warmer winters, so less freezing days is going to... No snow. No snow, no ice. Uh, a lot more moisture. Great for stuff to grow. So what stuff bothers us the most? So this time of year, it's going to be tree pollen. Mm -hmm. so, so we're going to see those daffodils coming up, but it's not those flowering plants that's causing the problem. It's invisible, lightweight, airborne pollen that's floating around in the air, making people miserable. You can't see it at all. It's not the kind that sticks to your car. It may, later in the spring, we'll be able to see it because it gets so thick and heavy that it's sticking to the car. But it's, we associate spring with those flowers, but it's not always it's those not flowers always that are them. causing the issues. I'm talking to people that have never had allergies before. They're going, <laughs> going through this. What, so, have you noticed that? No, yeah. I mean, we're seeing it in our office every day. So you can develop allergy symptoms at any time, but really on those very high pollen days, just that pollen by itself is going to be irritating to your eyes, irritating to your nasal passages. So even individuals who test negative will still be bothered oh. by those high pollen counts. And that is interesting because I think so many people, especially when you become an adult, if you've never had to deal with it before, you're like, well, why is it starting now? Is it just a random thing that sometimes happens? Or It can be a random thing that okay. sometimes happens. And like I said, just those high pollen counts are just so irritating. All right, let's get him some relief. Uh, he brought the whole medicine cabinet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> are there any natural things you can do? There are natural things you can do. So number one is if you can avoid the things that you're allergic to, you're going to have a lot fewer symptoms. So staying indoors when pollen counts right, are that's highest. That's possible. So. <laughs> Keeping windows shut. Yeah. Keeping windows up when you're driving. Wearing sunglasses will keep the pollen off your eyes. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. When you come in from outside, uh, change your clothes, take a shower if you can, get the pollen out of your hair. Take okay. a shower before you go to bed? Take a shower before you go to bed. Okay. That'll help, you know, you know keep, reduce your exposure, uh, at least when you're inside the house. Now, what about medicine then? So there's a lot of great, safe, effective medication available over the counter nowadays. So uh, among those, a, a lot of this inflammation is being driven by histamine. So your first line, first step medication is going to be an antihistamine. What the hell is a histamine? Histamine is the chemical that's released from allergy cells that causes that itching, burning sensation. It drives a lot of inflammation. And there's antihistamines that are non-drowsy and available over the counter now. Medications like Claritin, Zyrtec, and Allegra, those are the brand names. Look for the store brands, it's going to be a lot cheaper for you. Oh, like the generic the generics. brands. Yeah. What about shoving stuff up your nose to get immediate relief? So if you've already taken antihistamines and you're still having sneezing, runny nose, congestion, uh, nasal steroids are a great option. They've gone over the counter as well. Medications oh. like Flonase, Nasonex, Nasacort. So uh, Flonase is an example, end. and here's an example of the generic equivalent that could be less expensive. Steroid people go, oh my god, I don't want a steroid. Yeah, sometimes. You're right. It's a very, very low dose. You're spraying it where the inflammation is. You can think of it like a hydrocortisone cream. You're just putting it on the itchy spot on your skin. The nasal steroid's the same idea. You're applying the uh, low dose right where the inflammation is. That's why it's is. over the counter. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nicely done, as always. Yes, thank Thanks, you. guys. Are you allergic to anything? Uh, perk of the job, I was able to help fix my own problems. Oh, so now you're no longer. I have a lot fewer symptoms as a result. Allergy shots is a long-term option. It's called allergen immunotherapy. Yeah. And it's a way to get people less allergic to those things that they're allergic to over what time. What was it that you were allergic to, though? Grass, trees, oh. weeds, cats, dogs. Everything. Oh, Good my everything. gosh. <laughs> no, you wonder you, you do what you do. Yeah. Trying yeah. to help yourself. Uh, thank you.